Now let's do set number 27, five items word problems about fractions. Now, each problem I'm going to give you one minute to solve them before I'm going to show you the detailed solutions in each problem. Number one, medyo mahaba siya. So read it with your eyes only. Para sa explanation natin, so babasahin ko. Consider this as reading comprehension. Dapat intindihin natin yung given para makathink tayo kung paano siya sagutan or ano yung sagot. Number one, Merrill ordered a claw hammer, four drill bits, a work light, large clamp, two screwdriver, seven uh, Tuggle box. So, if I mispronounce any words here, ignore nyo lang. Importante makasolve tayo nito. 16 two penny nails, three paint brushes, and 14 inch level from a mail order house. So far, she has received the hammer, three drill bits, the level, one screwdriver, the clamp, and all two Penny nails. What fraction of her order has she received? Dito pa lang, alam mo na ang denominator natin ay yung total. Tapos ang numerator natin ay yung na-receive. So lahat ng na-receive niya, i-total natin. 1, 4, 1, 1, this is 2, 7, this is 16. 3. This is 1. 1 48 inch. Then that's it. I add natin yan lahat. 1 plus 4 is 5. Plus 1 is 6. 7. 8, 9. 16. 19. 20. Plus 16. And that is 36. 36 ang total. Next, ang na-receive niya. One hammer. Three. Tapos isang level. One screwdriver. One clamp. And all the two penny nails. Mag ilan ba yung mga penny nails? 16. One, two, three, four, seven. Seven plus uh, 16 is 23. So, what fraction of her order has she received? The answer is 23 over 36. Letter C.
Number two, Lou makes seven point seventy five dollars an hour. He worked thirty eight one fifth hours last week. How much money did he earn? I multiply lang natin yan. Seven point seventy five times thirty eight point two. One fifth is equivalent to point two. So I multiply lang natin. The two times five that is ten. Then five five one. Next is zero zero two six, and this is five two three two. Okay, then let's add them. Five ten carry one six nine two. Decimal place one two three, one two three. So ang answer ay two nine six point zero five. Letter B. Number three, a lasagna receipt calls for three and one half pounds of noodles. How many pounds of noodles are needed to make one third of the receipt? One third lang. So, kung i-revise natin yung given, bali, one third of three and one half lang. So, yan na yung, yan na yung baling sagot natin. One third of three and one half is what? Kopyahin si one-third, ang of ay equivalent ng multiplication. At itong mixed number na three and one-half, gawin natin improper fraction kasi mag-multiply tayo. So, two times three equals six. Six plus one equals seven. Tapos, kopyahin ang denominator. Ngayon, pwede na tayo mag-multiply. Numerator to numerator, one times seven equals seven. Three times two equals six. Improper fraction ito, gawin natin mixed number. So, that is 1, 7 divided by 6, that is 1. Ang remainder niya ay gawin natin numerator na 1 at kopyahin si denominator na 6. So, ang answer dito ay 1 and 1, 6, letter D. Uulitin ko para mas lalo maintindihan. Ang isang receipt daw, kailangan ng 3 and 1 half pounds of noodles. Ngayon, hindi siya buo, bali 1 third lang ang gagawin niya. So, one-third of three and one-half. Kaya, one-third of three and one-half. Yan na yung dito na yung sagot. Ito na yung answer natin. One and one-six. Uulitin ko para mas lalong maintindihan. So, bali itong three and one-half. Yan na yung isang receipt. Ikaso lang, one-third lang ang gagamitin niya. So, yung one-third of three and one-half Kaya ganito, one-third of three and one-half ay yan na yung answer natin. So, kaya ganito ang solution natin. Another way of solving is three and one-half, one-third lang. So, i-divide natin ng three. So, kung i-divide natin ng three, itong three and one-half, gawin natin improper fraction. So, seven over two. Division maging multiplication, itong si... 3, kasi dinivide natin ng 3 ito. So, ang reciprocal ng 3, which is 1 third. So, ganun pa rin. 7 over 6 pa rin ang sagot. And that is equivalent to 1 and 1 six.
number four. A lasagna receipt requires one and one half pounds of cheese. Ang isang lasagna. Approximately how many lasagna can be made from 20 and one third pound block of cheese? I divide mo lang yan. Si 20 and one third divided by one and one half. Mix numbers, gawin muna natin itong improper fraction. 3 times 20 equals 60 plus 1 equals 61. Kopyahin ang denominator na 3. Then ito rin, 2 times 1 equals 2 plus 1 equals 3 over 2. Tapos, nag-divide tayo ng mga fraction. So itong una ay kopyahin lang. Si division maging multiplication at itong divisor natin reciprocal ni divisor. 61 times 2, and that is 122. 3 times 3, and that is 9. Para klaro lang, ito ang gagawin natin. 122 divided by 9, and this is 9, 3, 2, 3, 27, and this is 5. Itong 13, yan yung whole number natin. Si 5, yan yung numerator natin. At kopyahin yung denominator na 9. Ngayon ang answer ay 13 and 5 over 9. The question is, wala sa choices. Pero, take note, approximately. So, malapit dito sa 13 and 5 over 9. First, ang whole number ang tingnan natin. Sa choices, letter A lang ang 13. So, this is already correct. Tingnan mo ang 5 over 9. Ang 5 over 9, decimal natin yan, that is 0.5555 yan. So, malapit siya sa 1 half. So, the answer here is letter A. Number five, for health reasons, Ami want to drink eight glasses of water a day. He's already had six glasses. What fraction of eight glasses does Ami have left, left to drink? Eight minus six equals two. Two na lang ang iinumin niya. So yung left, bali yung, ito yung iinumin pa lang niya. Tapos yung total. And that is, yung iinumin pala niya ay 2. Yung total ay 8. I-list natin yan by finding the greatest common factor na 2, which is 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 8 divided by 2 equals 4. So the answer here is letter C, 1 fourth. 